We have a busy day today. We're going to start the day by going to Ravenna, New York. It's about an hour south of here and we're going to deliver some Kirby vacuum cleaners. Here's our pile of Kirby's and someone from Connecticut is going to buy them from us. And these, all these boxes here have Kirby parts in them. I'm going to start loading the van. First of all we have to empty all the junk out of our van. Now the task is to fit six Kirby's and a whole bunch of parts into the van. And the van is going to be full of people so it's going to be a very tight fit. I'm a pretty good packer though so we'll see what we can do. Yeah, you twist it first. Okay, all the vacuum tubs are ready. That's the start. Right. So far, so good. Let's see if the trunk still closes. Excuse me, Peter. It's because we all It closes. Yay. Kirby's are nice because they come apart easily. Now we'll see if it'll fit. <laughs> it fits. It fits. Yep, yep. Good job, Daddy. Everything that we can fit in the cracks, we're doing that now. All the cracks are going to be full. Okay, now we're going to close it up and we're going to fill it up from the inside. Let's see if it closes. Should close. Yay! It wasn't easy, but it all fit, and we even have room for kids' feet. The people with the little feet, they get stuff on the floor in front of them. People with big feet, well, they don't. So it all works out. All we have to do is put in the tool caddy. One time on eBay, I sold two of these to Israel. It's 1010 and we're on the road. If you've survived to this video after watching all the videos this week, you can probably tell that this week has been absolutely crazy and it's not over yet. Yesterday I didn't do any viewing, I just didn't have time. Um, Art's parents are coming and so I spent the morning cleaning the house and then I told the kids that if they were really helpful to me and we got a good chunk of the house cleaned, before noontime we could go meet grandma and grandpa from New York at the park for lunch. So the kids worked really hard and we got all that done so we quick ran to the park, played for about an hour, had our lunch, came home and then Art got home from work and he needed to go to the bank, I needed to go to Target and there's also someone giving away some free books that I really wanted to um, read and actually I brought one of the books today to read in the car and it's The Saving Dinner by Leanne Ellie and she's um, the lady that does the menu mailer with Fly Lady and you may or may not have heard, had me, heard me mention about Fly Lady before but Fly Lady has really helped me in a lot of ways with organizing and cleaning my house. So we all did that yesterday at late afternoon, got home, made dinner, and then I said to our, oh, we have to do the church lawn this week. It's your turn. How are we going to fit that in? So at 7.30, we flew down to church. Art started mowing the lawn, and I took, the, um, took all the kids, and I put um, Mary and Grace, no, not Mary. It was Lydia and Grace in one stroller, and we Charity put... Uh, Mary and her stroller and the two boys took their scooters and we went walking all throughout the neighborhood around church for what was it about 45 minutes? Mm -hmm. It had to be quite a sight and then we came we came home put the kids to bed And then we got this phone call about the vacuums and running today for the vacuums all in the meantime We have our parents coming and we still haven't finished totally straightening up the house and getting dinner ready or um getting anything ready for literary night tonight which we need to be back for by seven o'clock because the kids are performing it's like absolutely insane this week and i'm hoping that this is the end of it for at least a week or two since we're going down albany way i've been having an itch to go to hobby lobby particularly since i'm having the fourth of july at my house so art is humoring me since we left a little earlier and we're waiting going to be waiting for um the person who's buying the vacuum said we could swing by Hobby Lobby and I'm super excited because I've seen some of um, the different vloggers that I watch go to Hobby Lobby to get some things and it looks like the coolest place so this is exciting going to Hobby Lobby. You think it'll be fun with six kids? No I think Art's 
going to stay in the car with at least a few of them. Oh, I'm not staying in the car. I'm only going to. <laughs> All right, well, we might have to send Art out if we have problems with the kids. There are the twin bridges over the Mohawk River and Erie Canal. And the place I used to work actually did the drafting and designing of this bridge, which is pretty neat. A little bit lost trying to find Hobby Lobby, but we're going to keep searching. I called my mom and she got some directions, so hopefully we can find it this time. Those are big flowers. We're looking around for some ribbon. And if you've been watching our videos, you know the irony of that. We have so, so very much ribbon. We just got rid of a ton of it. But I guess we don't have the right color. And it is 50% off. This goes in the burlap clothes. Janelle just informed me that she's just going to look and she'll know when she sees it. This is the same stuff that I bought. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so it's $13.99, it's 50% off. So that's $7 and I paid $1 for it at a garage sale. Janelle's bummed because we don't have a lot of time. We have to meet the guy shortly. But maybe I can, for a Christmas or birthday present, tell her to come here. Spend whatever she wants, take as much time as she wants. You should be scared if you tell me to spend whatever I want. Oh, well, you know I'm really cheap with myself, so... I know. Okay. Maybe I should do that. We sold our fake tree too cheap. We only got $3 for it. Well, it's quite unfortunate that I couldn't stay longer because I didn't even get to go through a third of the store. But we had time constraints, so maybe I'll come down here another time. It's like totally the place to hang out and get really cool stuff for your house. But maybe it's a good thing I don't go because then I'd buy too much. There's the ticket for I-87. I didn't even know it was a toll road, but it is a toll road. And we are going to this one, exit 21A. Everyone's getting a little anxious. And Lydia, what did you say you just saw? We saw an igloo. Slight little flaw. We didn't realize that there is no exit at Ravina, so we have to go a little bit past it and turn around and come back. So in the meantime, we decided to go to a rest stop. Because the kiddos bladders are taxed to the limit. We made it to the diner and here is our meeting place. The transfer and the car is empty. That's a good thing. Everybody happy now? Yes! <laughs> we made the transfer of the Kirby's. Grace totally, totally lost it. So we ended up stopping at a little um, plaza and there was a Dunkin' Donuts there. And lo and behold, what did I have in my purse but a Dunkin' Donuts gift card that I had won at a banquet I had attended several, several years ago. And I have been looking for an excuse to use that card up. So this was the perfect excuse. So there was, um, we all got, uh, was it like an egg McMuffin cheese thing? And that's our lunch. Usually we don't eat out, eat out, but the trip took longer than we expected. And I didn't pack a lunch, which is really unusual for me. But that's fine. We got to get rid of the, got rid of the gift certificate. Let me show you what we're looking at. Some type of quarry or something. I'm really not sure what it is. But it's got all kinds of cool cranes and conveyor belts. Yep, very, very neat. Thank you. I'll take that. All right, so we want 87 North right here. So you need to get over. Trucks have to take this corner slow. It's a sharp corner getting on to the North Way. So I'm gonna slow down the Pepsi guy. No, he just. Well, he almost barreled into us. The traffic is so crazy. And all we can figure out is it must be because it's Friday. Let me see, 117. Usually it's busy around 3.30. And Mary and Mommy are playing games. There's a car from Alaska. Oh, an Alaskan car. Yeah, black one right there. What'd you see, Peter? That's a lot of excavators. We're on the road for about three and a half hours. Does that make you want to go on a vacation? No. No? That miserable? Yep. 
141 and we're home. I got home and I had to work on dinner and I found this recipe in um, the All You magazine. In fact, this one's from April 27, 2012. I was working on cleaning out my stuff the other night on Tuesday at the squad and I saw this recipe and I said, perfect, this would be perfect for company. Finished dinner, Arts Paris have arrived, and we are now on our way to the Literary Night performance. And Charity, are you ready? Mm, I guess so. How about you, John? You ready? Yeah. They're doing some last minute cramming, getting ready to do their thing. So, Grandma and Grandpa, we left behind at the house for a few minutes. They had to tidy up and get ready to come down, but we needed to be there a little early. What a beautiful way to end a crazy hot day. A gorgeous sunset, and then we have the moon, the moon. The moon and a star or a planet right there. Where? Mm. Gorgeous, gorgeous sunset. And now 